And this is about the hardest part of writing scripts, which is stories, constructing solid stories that make sense and yet surprise us, delight us, enchant us. Uh, hard work, but I think some of the methods that we'll go over will help you to do so. I have kind of a, a, a rant that I go through, I'll keep it short, but it is about the fact that because it's hard, lots of people wish that there would be a, a template or a formula that we could use, just slot in our stories and there would be in its glory, you know, fully structured and everything. Unfortunately, that doesn't exist. That hasn't stopped some people, however, a lot of people, from using the three-act structure or the hero's journey as that kind of template. Now, three-act structure is great. It's just really beginning, middle, and end. And that, that makes sense. Um, and I, I use it. And we'll talk about it. I'll, I'll talk, talk to you more about it a little bit later. But uh, over the years, it has become so specific in some of the textbooks and so on, you know, that on page 18, you have to do this. And on page 35, you have to have this pinch. And then you have to do this. And it, it has become so specific that it feels like filling in the, the blanks on a paint by number set. And that doesn't lead to great stories. And the same thing is true of the hero's journey, which is based on mythology. And again, I'll go through some of that a little bit later, but it's, it's a, a pattern of story that has persisted for many, many years, thousands of years, and it has its use. But it's not ideally used to, again, sort of fill in the blanks. Oh, one of the elements is there's a mentor. Who should be my mentor? And begin, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi, who can, that, who can that be? So. They have their uses, but unfortunately, and this is not the fault of Sid Field, who wrote about the 3X structure, or, or uh, um, the other people that have written about these others, um, Christopher Fogler, for example, with Hero's Journey, but it's people kind of misusing it. And what happens when they do that is the stories that they come up with feel and look kind of the same, and they lose their individuality. So my motto is basically make the story the boss and let the structure be the servant. So we're going to look for a structure and ways to find the structure that tells your story the way that you really want to tell it and it tells it best. So the, the story and the elements of the story are the starting point, not the structure. The other thing that I, I try to emphasize is not to commit too soon to your storyline. To have an open mind, continue to consider alternatives. I'll show you some tools for doing that in this next hour or so. And if you leave yourself open to new ideas, often they end up being better ideas. How much do you plan ahead when you write a script? Uh, there's not universal agreement on this by any means. Some people in novels too, some authors, will not put a pen to paper or finger to keyboard, I guess, until they know the whole story. Or they will plot it out in an outline and they won't start writing until they know every, th every beat. And for some of these authors, it's almost it's almost like automatic to write the thing because they worked it out so well in their head. There are others who say, I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, one of my favorite crime authors, Elmore Leonard, says he never knows where he's going. just starts writing about characters. And his characters are great. I have to say, as much as I love him and his writing, sometimes you can tell he didn't plan. And he didn't go back and kind of plot-wise, that's not his strength. Characters are his fantastic strength. And when you're as good as characters at characters as he is, then you can afford to be a little bit sloppy with the story. But most of us, unfortunately, have to you know, try to get it right the whole time. So my particular method is I learned through trial and error. I typically will write the first quarter of a project without planning too much. I'll have an idea of the general storyline, but I'm not outlining the first 25%, which in a script might be the first 25 pages. Um, and then I stop, and I decide where is the story going, where do I want to go with it, and plot out the rest. And that came from the experience of writing an entire script or a couple of entire scripts without plotting and realizing I had so much rewriting and restructuring to do afterwards that it wasn't really working for me. This way, I get the fun of being spontaneous for the first 25 pages or so and then lock in and start to plan more. There's always still room uh, beyond that to, for new things to come in. So it isn't plot out minute by minute, but it, it uh, has a general structure and a shape. I know where I'm going. 